good uh, dear audience uh, welcome to our everyday <coughs> weekly academic session from department of medicine uh, i dr kamarshi sarkar i will <coughs> address you uh, our today's uh, presentation from medicine unit 4 and 8 and our today's presenter dr komaljit raskumar he is a student cardiology department uh, he will uh, present about atrial fibrillation and overview now with the permission of dr shishir prasad sir and other teachers i request dr komaljit raskumar to start her presentation uh, uh, am i audible audible to all ha audible 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 shona jacche Uh, respected teacher, my dear colleague, uh, I am Dr. Gomez Raskumar, PhD student, Academic Department, SNC. Uh, welcome to all today's uh, HR fibrillation, uh, monetization HR fibrillation. Uh, so, definition of HR fibrillation: the uh, HR fibrillation, a supraventricular tachycardia with unconditioned atrial electrical activation and con. Consequently, ineffective atrial conduction. Echocardiography character of atrial fibrillation include regularly regular RI interval, absence of distinct repeating uh, repeating T wave, and irregular atrial activation. Uh, clinical atrial fibrillation, symptomatic or asymptomatic atrial fibrillation that is documented by such as ECG. The minimum duration of an ECG tracing of atrial fibrillation is required to establish. The diagnosis of clinical atrial fibrillation is at least thirty seconds or entire twelve minute ECG. Atrial high rate episode or subclinical atrial fibrillation refers to individual without symptom attributed to atrial fibrillation in whom clinical atrial fibrillation is not previously detected. That is, there is no such as ECG tracing of atrial fibrillation. Atrial high rate episode, uh, event fulfilling program or specified criteria of AHRE that uh, that are detected by CIEDS with an atrial lead, allowing automated con continuous monitoring of atrial rhythm and tracing storage. CIED recorded AHRE needs to be visually inspected because some AHRE may be electrical artifact or false positive. So, subclinical atrial fibrillation includes AHR to be atrial fibrillation AFL or an AT or AF episode detected by insertable cardiac monitor or wearable monitor and confirmed by visually review intracardiac electrogram or ECG recorded rhythm. So, pathophysiology of atrial fibrillation chaotic electrical discharge in the atria of the heart from atrophic foci. Cause an irregular rapid atrial contraction leads to rapid ventricular contraction via avenodal conduction. Atrial fibrillation also leads to loss of atrial contraction at the end of the atrial, which is elderly people with reduced ventricular compliance can lead to reduced stroke volume and thus reduced cardiac output, predisposing to the development of heart failure. Atrial fibrillation is present in up to 50% of patients with heart failure. So, summary of the risk factor for incidence of atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is caused by coronary artery disease, vascular disease, intense alcohol, alcohol consumption, smoking, obesity, obstructive sleep apnea, COPD, inflammatory disease, chronic kidney disease. Diabetic, borderline hypertension, valve disease, heart failure. Uh, so there is a chest fibrillation not diagnosed before, irrespective of its duration uh, or the presence or severity, uh, severity of atrial fibrillation related symptoms. Irrespective of atrial fibrillation, atrial fibrillation that terminates spontane spontaneously or with intervention within seven days of onset. Of persistent atrial fibrillation, atrial fibrillation that is continuously sustained beyond seven days, including episodes that are terminated by cardiovascular day or more. Long standing 
persistent atrial fibrillation, continuous atrial fibrillation of more than 12 months duration when I decided to adopt a rhythm control strategy. Permanent atrial fibrillation, atrial fibrillation that is accepted by the patient and physician, and no further attempt to restore or maintain sinus rhythm will be undertaken. Permanent atrial fibrillation represents a therapeutic attitude of the patient and physician rather than an inherent pathophysiological attribute of atrial fibrillation, and the term should not be used in the context of a rhythm control strategy with anti drug therapy of atrial fibrillation. Should a rhythm control strategy be adopted, the, uh, the arrhythmia would be reclassified as a long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation. Lone atrial fibrillation, a historical and descriptor increasing knowledge about the pathophysiology of atrial fibrillation that in every patient a cause is present. Hence, the term is potentially confusing and should be abundant. Valvular or non-valvular atrial fibrillation differentiate patients with moderate or severe mitral stenosis and those with mechanical prosthetic heart valve from other patients with atrial fibrillation, but may be confusing and should not be used. Chronic atrial fibrillation has variable definition and should not be used to describe population of atrial fibrillation patients. So eight are a symptom scale. So score one. Uh, symptom uh, that means atrial fibrillation not cause any symptom. 2a that is mild normal daily activity uh, not affected by symptom related to atrial fibrillation affected by symptom related to atrial fibrillation but patient travel by symptom uh, code 3 severe normal daily activity affected by symptom related to atrial fibrillation 4 disability Normal daily activity discontinued. So this is the clinical pattern, uh, presentation of a Patient may come asymptomatic or silent or symptomatic, that means dizziness, syncope, disoriented sleep, or hemodynamically unstable, um, syncope, symptomatic hypotension. Acute heart failure, pulmonary edema, ongoing myocardial ischemia, cardiogenic shock. So, diagnostic evaluation of atrial fibrillation, clinical history and physical examination, ECG, halter monitoring, stress test, echo, test, radiographic blood test. So in uh, in ECG, uh, there is no PUF, PUF are absent, and RI interval is variable. Absent PUF are replaced by small irregular oscillation called F wave. F -wave. Ventricular response is grossly irregular at 100 to uh, one, uh, 160 bits per minute. So recommendation for that according to ESC criteria, um, heart rhythm with no discernible uh, repeating P waves and irregular RR interval when ventricular contraction is not impaired is the diagnostic of clinical atrial fibrillation. So this is the image of uh, Holter monitoring. This is stress test and uh, uh, chat bus score. Chat bus score for the uh, risk assessment. Uh, chat bus score C conductive uh, heart failure 0.1. We all know that uh, hypertension uh, uh, 0.1 is more than uh, is 75 years old or older too. Diabetic mellitus, uh, 0.1, uh, treatment of oral hypoglycemic drug and or insulin or fasting blood glucose that is more than 125 milligram per nanodial or uh, 7 millimol per liter. Stroke, uh, previous stroke, PIA or thromboembolism, 0.2, uh, uh, vascular disease that is uh, angiographically silent, coronary artery disease, previous myocardial infection, PAD uh, or aortic plus uh, 0.1 is uh, 64, uh, 65 to 74 years, 0.1. Test category female 1, maximum score is 9. Uh, in case risk factor in the health blend score, um, age uncontrolled hypertension, that is uh, systolic blood pressure more than uh, 160 milliliter of mercury, uh, 0.1. Uh, uh, abnormal renal or hepatic function, uh, that is dialysis, transplant, 
Aspiram creatine more than 200 micromol per liter cirrhosis, bilirubin uh, more than 2 into upper limit of normal, AFT, LT, MLT more than 3 into upper limit of normal, 1.4 each. So, serious ischemic or hemorrhagic stroke, 1. Bleeding history or uh, three or uh, predisposition, previous major hemorrhage or anemia or severe thrombocytopenia. Point one uh, level and INR that is uh, TCR uh, time in therapeutic range uh, less than or equal to uh, less than 60 percent in patient receiving vitamin D antagonist. Elderly uh, is more than 65 years or extreme uh, therapy. Point one drug or excessive alcohol drinking, uh, concomitant use of antiplatelet or non steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, and or excessive alcohol per uh, one point for each. Uh, maximum total score is nine. So, strategy for treating in the actual fibrillation, uh, uh, rhythm control by including cardioversion or rate control plus thromboembolic risk uh, prevention based on adverse score. Equitable uh, for hemodynamically unstable patient, today if possible and perform an immediate cardioversion. If refractory to cardioversion, use IV amidaron, ibutilite, or procanamide. For hemodynamically stable patient, initiate anticoagulation and rate control. If first occurrence, consider cardioversion after adequate anticoagulation. Uh, for which or not taught in thinking, transcriptorical echocardiography and a therapeutic anticoagulation initiated. With recurrence, consider referral to an electrophysiologist, consider admission with a history of a precipitating event that is acute MI, embolism, heart failure, etc. Rule out secondary cause uh, based on history, perform complete evaluation. Uh, rhythm and age control approach, rhythm control by cardioversion. Uh, pharmacological agent, class 1C and uh, CNT agent drug, surgery, device implantation, pacemaker, rate control, pharmacological agent, abnormal blocker, surgery with device, uh, device implantation, ablation plus pacemaker insertion. Rate control medication, uh, metoprolol or isomolar, IV or oral, diltiazem, IV or oral, dehapramil, oral only, digoxin. Patient with hypertension, imidazem also for rhythm control. Rhythm control. Synchronized DC cardioversion, emergency or hemodynamic instability, instability, get a efficiency than medication, pharmacological cardioversion. If a less than seven days, uh, then we should give uh, dofeltide, felsenide, eutilide, pohafenol, or emidaron. If a more than seven days, meaning dofeltide or emidaron. Uh, what is uh, uh, ESC recommended. ESC recommended beta blocker, diltiazem, or verapamil are recommended as first choice of drug to control heart rate in F patient with left ventricular ejection fraction more than or equal to uh, 40%. This, that, that is class 1 injection. Beta blocker and or digoxin are recommended to control heart rate in atrial fibrillation patient with left ventricular ejection fraction less than 40% is class 1 injection. Combination therapy comprising different rates contro controlling drugs should be considered if a single drug does not does not achieve the target heart rate plus two indication. A resting heart rate of less than 110 beats per minute should be considered as the initial heart rate target for rate control therapy plus two a indication. Uh, recommendation for ventricular rate control in patient with AS. Atrial ventricular node ablation should be considered to control heart rate in patient. Unresponsive or intolerance to intensive rate and rhythm control therapy. And not eligible for rhythm control for uh, left atrial ablation, accepting that uh, the, the, this patient will become pacemaker dependent, class 2 indication. In patient with hemodynamic instability or severely depressed left ventricular ejection fraction, intravenous imidaron may be considered for acute control of heart rate plus 2B indication. So uh, what are the drugs for rate control of F? Metroporol, uh, um, 2.5-5 mg IV bolus uh, up to 4 dose, uh, maintain dose 25-100 mg uh, BD. Um, metroporol XL, uh, that is succinate uh, and uh, it is a maintained dose 50 to 400 milligram of daily. Disoprol 
Parma Calent, administration IV, initial dose, uh, dose 3 mg per kg over 10 minutes, uh, further dose for cardioversion, uh, 2 mg per kg 10 minutes after the initial dose. Imidaron, this is administration IV, initial dose for cardioversion, 5 to 7 mg per kg over 1 to 2 hours, further dose for cardioversion, 50 mg per hour, maximum 1.5. 2 grams for 20 acute success rate and expected time to sinusism for your person, uh, usually 8 to 12 hours to several days. Contraindication, uh, this is the name, may cause uh, cervitis, uh, use a large peripheral vein, avoid IV administration more than 24 hours and use preferably volumetric pump. May cause hypotension, bradycardia, atrioventricular block, QT pro uh, prolongation, only if no other option in patient is hyperthyroidism and uh, this risk of thyroidopticus. Rhizom gondrogen our items paper utilize administration IV, initial dose for cardioversion 1 mg over 10 minutes, uh, 0 0.01 mg per kg if body weight is less than 60 kg. Further dose for cardioversion 1 mg over 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes after the initial dose. Acute uh, success rate and expected time to sinus rhythm uh, D1 to 51 percent in air, uh, 32 uh, 53 to 73 percent in air. So there is long term rhythm control therapy indication for long term rhythm control therapy. Acid and stretch, risk factor and comorbidity. That is a SCI, ARB, MRI setting in patient with risk factor LVH or LV dysfunction. Uh, this is non or minimal sign of tactile heart disease. I will show you the same thing. Doran Daran, Propafenol, Catalog, or Catalog Ablation in case of leak and air. This is a coronary artery disease of a heart failure with preserved injection section and significant valvular disease. I will show you the same thing. I will show you the same thing. I will show you the same thing. This is heart failure with ejection infection. Uh, in this case, we use imidaron or uh, catheter ablation in case of recurrent atrial fibrillation. So, recommendation for the prevention of thrombotic event in air. Uh, recommendation for stroke prevention in air who are eligible to oral anticoagulant or NOAS are recommended in patients with vitamin C antagonist during patient with mechanical heart valve with moderate to severe mitral stenosis, that is class 1 indication. For stroke risk assessment, a risk factor based approach is recommended using transverse clinical score risk score to initially identify patient at low risk score, transverse score, the zero in case of men and one in case of women who should not be offered antithrombotic therapy, that is class 1 indication. Oral anticoagulant is recommended for stroke prevention in atrial fibrillation with chatvas score more than or two in case of male and men and more than or three in case of women is class one indication. For oral anticoagulant should be considered for stroke prevention in air patients with a chatvas score for one in men or two in women. Treatment should be individualized based on net clinical benefit and consideration of patient value and preference. That is class 2 indication. For bleeding risk assessment, a formal structure risk factor based bleeding risk assessment is recommended to help identify non modifiable and address modifiable bleeding risk factors in all atrial fibrillation patients and to identify patient potentially at high risk of bleeding who should be scheduled for early and more frequent clinical review and follow-up. That is class one indication. For, for a formal risk score based assessment for bleeding risk, the half blood score should be considered to help address modifiable bleeding risk factor and to identify patient at high risk bleeding. That is half blood score more than or equal to three for early and more frequent clinical review and follow up. Uh, class 2 indication. Recommendation Stroke and bleeding risk assessment at periodic interval is recommended to inform treatment decision 
Initiation of oral anticoagulant in patient no longer at low risk of stroke and address potentially modifiable bleeding risk factor. This is class one indication. In patient with F, initially at low risk of stroke, first reassessment of stroke risk, uh, stroke risk should be made at four to six months after the index evaluation. Class two indication. If a vitamin K and diagnosis is used, the target INR should be two to three is recommended with individual time of therapeutic range is more than or equal to 70 percent plus one indication. Uh, recommendation of prevention of somebody given uh, in a patient with vitamin K antagonist with low time in INR therapeutic range, that is a therapeutic uh, time in therapeutic range less than 70 percent. Recommended option are switching to NO. By, but ensuring good adherence and persistence with therapy or effort to improve TPR, that is education therapy alone, monotherapy or screen is recommend, uh, monotherapy or screen is combination with clopidogrel. It's not recommended for stroke prevention in air, plus two indications. Estimated living risk. In the absence of contraindication to oral anticoagulant, should not in uh, in itself guide treatment decision. Clinical uh, pattern of AIF that is fast detected, proximal, persistent, long standing, persistent, permanent should not uh, condition the indication to thromboprophylaxis plus the indication. Uh, the effective solution may be considered for stroke prevention in patient without a reversible cause. Plus two indications: surgical occlusion or exclusion of left of the left atrial appendix may be considered for stroke prevention. Patient with F undergoing cardiac surgery, plus two indication. So, patient with atrial fibrillation, eligible for oral anticoagulation. Uh, F with prosthetic mechanical heart valve or moderate severe mitral stenosis. Uh, in this in case, vitamin K and N are uh, depend on type of valve lesion and prosthesis. So, the NASA case, uh, she can identify the low risk patient, the low risk patient, that is, that has for zero in the one in female. Uh, the patient the low risk factor uh, risk factor is no anti thrombotic uh, treatment. The low risk factor not take a shake to the consider stroke prevention uh, in all AF patients with cadaver score more than or equal to in case of male as uh, more than modifiable bleeding risk factor in all AF patients. Calculate the health blood score. If head blood uh, more than equal to two, address the modifiable bleeding risk factor and flag up patient for regular review and follow up. High bleeding risk score should not be considered uh, as a reason to withdraw oral anticoagulant. Check score uh, one consider the plus two indications. Uh, in a uh, chapter score more than or equal to two in case of male, or more than or equal to three in case of female, oral anticoagulation is recommended in uh, the case, high time with therapeutic range. Not generally recommended as offline therapy for oral anticoagulation. And a good correlation of PCA or CCA. Recommendation. Uh, in a patient eligible for NOAC, it is recommended to use NOAC in preference to a vitamin C and diagonic is the combi uh, combination with antiplatelet therapy, that is class one indication. In patient at high risk bleeding risk, that is, has that score more than or equal to three. Liver of the mind, 15 milligram once daily should be considered in preference to liver of the mind, 20 milligram once daily 
for the duration of concomitant single or dual anti platelet therapy to migrate stabilizing risk that is class 2a indication in patient at high um, breathing risk that is heavy blood risk for more than equal to 3 and the bid should be considered in preference to levigatran 150 mg bid for the duration of concomitant single um, dual anti platelet therapy to migrate breathing risk that is class 2 indication in a patient with an uh, indication for a vitamin c antagonist is a is combination with anti platelet therapy the vk should uh, uh, the vk dosing should be carefully regulated with a target inr of 2 to 2.5 and ttr uh, more than or equal to uh, more than 70% this is plus two indication in a patient with an ischemic stroke or ti long term secondary prevention for stroke uh, prevention of stroke using oral anticoagulation is recommended if there is no strict contraindication to oral anticoagulant use with a preference of uh, no up over the um, dkf in no up eligible patient that is class 1 indication in a patient presenting with acute ischemic stroke very early anticoagulation less than 48 hours using antifungal heparin low molecular weight heparin or vitamin k antagonist is not recommended it is class 3 indication recommendation for stroke prevention in a uh, patient after intracranial hemorrhage in a patient at high risk of ischemic stroke uh, initiation of oral anticoagulation uh, with preference of no over the uh, vitamin k antagonist in no eligible patient should be considered uh, in consultation with a consultation with a neurologist or stroke specialist after a trauma related intracranial hemorrhage they could spontaneous intracranial hemorrhage which include subdural subarachnoid or intracerebral hemorrhage after careful consideration of risks and benefits that is plus 2 indication uh, recommendation of uh, for the management of af during pregnancy acute management immediate electrical cardioversion is recommended in case of hemodynamic instability or pre excited af that is class 1 indication in pregnant uh, women with hcm uh, cardioversion should be considered uh, for persistent af that is class 2 indication ibuprofen or sulfonate id may be considered for termination of af in stable patient with structurally normal heart class 2 indication uh, long term management uh, and that is oral administration of drug therapeutic anticoagulation with heparin or vk according to the stage of pregnancy is recommended for patient with air that is class 1 indication beta selective blocker beta blocker are recommended for rate control air is in class uh, this is class 1 indication sulfonate propofenol or sotalol should be considered to prevent air if atrioventricular nodal blocking drug fails that is class 2 indication digoxin or verapamil should be considered for rate control if beta blocker has failed class 2 indication uh, are, the recommendation for the management of af during pregnancy is long term management sulfonate propofenol or sotalol should be considered to prevent af if atrioventricular nodal blocking drug fails and drug fails class 2 indication digoxin or verapamil should be considered for rate control if beta blocker fails class 2 indication recommendation for post operative atrial fibrillation long term oral anticoagulation therapy to prevent thrombotic thrombotic event should be considered in patient at risk of stroke with post operative atrial fibrillation after non cardiac surgery considering and uh, the anti, uh, considering the anticipated net clinical benefit of oral anticoagulant and informed patient preference plus two indication beta blocker should not be used routinely for the prevention of post operative af in patient undergoing non cardiac surgery plus indication uh, recommendation of uh, recommendation for patient with valvular heart disease and af no up are contraindicated in patient with a prostatic mechanical valve plus indication 
use of NOAC is not recommended in patients with AF and moderate to severe mental illness indication. Recommendation for the management of AF uh, with congenital heart disease. AF catheter ablation of HL arrhythmia associated with congenital heart defect may be considered when performing an experience center class 2 indication in patients with congenital heart disease. Uh, Transvisual uh, uh, echocardiography may be considered together with fluid, uh, fluid anticoagulation therapy before cardioversion, class 2 indication. Uh, recommendation for prevention of thrombo thrombolic event in F in patients with atrial fibrillation, initially at low risk of stroke. First, reassessment of stroke risk should be made four to six months. After the index evaluation, plus two indication, estimated bleeding risk in the absence of absolute contraindication to oral anticoagulant coagulation should not be uh, should not be in itself guide treatment decision to use oral anticoagulation for stroke prevention. Plus the clinical pattern of AF that is uh, of detected peripheral persistent or long-standing persistent uh, permanent should not be uh, should not condition. And the indication to thrombophilaxis, plus the indication. So, pharmacological cardioversion to AF is indicated only in hemodynamically stable patients after consideration of thromboembolic risk, plus one indication. For, for patients with sick sinus syndrome, atrioventricular conduction disturbance, or prolonged QT, that is more than 500 milliseconds pharmacological cardioversion should not be attempted unless risk of proarrhythmia and bradycardia have been considered plus two indications. A recommendation for the management of active bleeding on oral anticoagulation. In an patient, in an atrial fibrillation patient with severe active bleeding, it is recommended to interrupt oral anticoagulant until the cause of bleeding is identified and active bleeding is resolved and promptly perform specific diagnostic and treatment intervenous to identify and manage the cause and source of bleeding. That's one indication. Four factors, prothrombin complex concentrate, uh, should be considered in AF patients with vitamin K antagonists uh, who develop a severe bleeding complication, plus two indication. A recommendation about integrated AF management, uh, it is recommended uh, to routinely collect um, probes to measure treatment success and improve patient care, plus one indication. Recommendation for the, the prevention of thrombolic even in air. For, for, for a for formal risk score based assessment of bleeding risk, the health blood score should be considered to help address modifiable bleeding risk factors and to identify patients at high risk of bleeding as blood score more than equal to three for early and more frequent clinical review and follow-up, plus two indication. Stroke and bleeding risk reassessment at periodic interval is recommended to inform treatment and decision uh, that is initiation of anticoagulant in patients no longer at low risk of stroke and address Potentially modifiable bleeding risk factor plus one indication. In patients with AF at low risk of stroke, first reassessment of first reassessment of stroke risk should be made uh, four to six months after index evaluation. Okay. Plus three indication. Estimated bleeding risk in the absence of absolute contraindication to oral anticoagulation should not in Itself guide treatment decision to use oral anticoagulation for stroke prevention plus two indication. Uh, clinical pattern of AF should not be conditioned the indication of thrombovirality plus two indication. Uh, what is recommendation of for cardioversion? Pharmacological cardioversion of AF is indicated only in a hemodynamically stable patient after data uh, point. Sorry. Uh, so, so there is some change uh, about management. In 2020, to uh, ESC recommended that to optimize shared decision making about specific AF treatment options, in consideration is recommended that 
physician inform the patient about advantages or limitation and benefit of risk assessment uh, risk associated with considered treatment options and discuss the potential burden of the treatment with the patient and include the patient's perception of treatment burden into treatment decision and uh, this plasma indication uh, 2016 and there are placing of patient in a central role in decision making should be considered in order to tailor management to patient preference and improve adherence to long term therapy plus two indication uh, 2020 the for breeding risk assessment a formal structured risk score based breeding risk assessment is recommended to help identify non modifiable and address modifiable breeding risk factors in all a patient and to identify patient potentially at high risk of breeding who should be scheduled for early and more frequent clinical review and follow up plus one indication in 2016 breeding risk score should be considered in a patient and oral anticoagulation to identify modifiable risk factors on measure breeding plus two indication in 2020 in patient with vitamin k antagonist with low time in inr therapeutic range that is uh, time in therapeutic range uh, less than or uh, 70% recommended option are switching to noa but ensuring good adherence and persistence with therapy plus one indication or effort to improve TTR, education, counseling, and more frequent INR checks, plus two indication. In 2016, HL fibrillation already on treatment with vitamin K antagonist may be considered for no treatment if TTR is not well controlled despite good adherence or if patient preference without contraindication to no, uh, that is prosthetic valve, uh, plus two indication. Recommendation for rhythm control also catheter ablation in air. Uh, in 2020, HR fibrillation catheter ablation for CVI is recommended for rhythm control after one fail or intoler intolerant class one or class two AID to improve symptom of air. Uh, recurrence of patient with proximal atrial fibrillation or persistent atrial fibrillation without major risk factor for air recurrence or Persistent atrial fibrillation with major risk factor for atrial fibrillation recurrence. This is class one indication. In 2016, catheter or surgical ablation should be considered in patient with symptomatic persistent or long-standing persistent AF refer uh, refractory to AD uh, therapy to improve symptom, considering patient choice benefit and risk support by an AF heart uh, atrial fibrillation heart team. FRC and plus two indication. So recommendation for rhythm control or catheter control ablation uh, in a first line therapy in case of 2020 AC guide is recommended to reserve left ventricular dysfunction in a patient when tachycardia induced cardiomyopathy is highly prevalent. Independent symptom status plus one indication should be considered. In selective atrial fibrillation patient with heart failure, with, uh, with the heart failure with reduced reaction fraction to improve survival and reduce heart failure hospitalization, plus two indication. In 2016, atrial fibrillation ablation should be considered in symptomatic patient with air and heart failure with reduced reaction fraction to improve symptoms and cardiac function when. Tachycardiomyopathy is suspected, plus two indications. Uh, complete electrical isolation of the pulmonary veins is recommended during all air catheter ablation procedure. It is plus one indication in 2020. If patient has a history of CPI dependent HR flutter or typically typical HR flutter is indicated uh, induced at the time of HR fibrillation ablation delivery of a CPI lesion may be considered that is plus two indication. In 2016, catheter ablation should target isolation of the pulmonary vein using radio frequency ablation or a thermi balloon catheter that is plus two indication. In 2016, ablation of 
common HLs of flutter should be considered to prevent recurrent flutter. As part of an AF ablation procedure is documented or occurring during HL simulation ablation, this is plus two indication. Uh, lifestyle modification and other strategies to improve outcome ablation in 2020, weight loss is recommended in always patient with HL fibrillation, particularly those who are being uh, evaluated to undergo HL fibrillation and uh, HL fibrillation ablation. This is plus one indication in 2020. In 2016, in always patient with HL fibrillation, weight loss together with management of other risk factors should be considered to reduce actual fibrillation burden and symptoms, this is plus two indication. Recommendation for stroke risk, uh, risk management, pericardioversion. In patients with actual fibrillation undergoing cardioversion, NOAC are recommended with at least similar efficacy and safety as worth living. This is plus one indication. Uh, in 2016, anticoagulation with heparin or a NOAC should be initiated as soon as Possible before PP cardioversion or AF or HL flutter is class 2 indication. Recommendation for stroke risk management, a pedic catheter ablation in uh, 2020 after HL fibrillation, catheter ablation is the recommended death. Systemic anticoagulation with warfarin or a NOAC is discontinued for at least two months post ablation and long term continuation of. Systemic anticoagulation beyond uh, two months post ablation is based on the patient stroke risk profile and not on the apparent success or failure uh, of the ablation procedure. That is, class one indication. In 2016, all patients should receive oral anticoagulation for at least eight weeks after, after catheter ablation. This is class two indication. Uh, in 2020, amidarone is recommended for all long-term rhythm control in all AF patients, including those with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. However, ongoing it is extracardiac toxicity and other AD should be first whenever possible. This is the in 2020, is more effective in preventing AF than other AD and is with drugs. But extracardiac toxic effects are common and increase with time. For this reason, other uh, anti-ismic drugs should be considered first. That is plus two indication. Uh, recommendation for lifestyle intervention and management of risk factor and concomitant disease in patients with AF. Uh, in 2020, attention to good blood pressure control is recommended in AF patients with hypertension to reduce atrial fibrillation, recurrence and stroke, uh, uh, recurrence and risk of stroke and bleeding. This is class one indication. Uh, in 2016, blood pressure control in anticoagulant patients with hypertension should be considered to reduce the risk of bleeding. This is class two indication. Now, physical activity should be considered to help prevent atrial fibrillation incidence or recurrence, with the exception of uh, specific endurance exercise, which, uh, which may promote F, this is class two indication. In 2016, moderate regular physical activity is recommended to prevent atrial fibrillation, while athletes should be counseling that long, uh, long lasting intense sports precipitation can promote atrial fibrillation, that is class one indication. Uh, in 2020, optimal management of OSA may, uh, may be considered to reduce atrial fibrillation incidence, AF progression, AF recurrence, and uh, symptoms. That is class two indication in 2016. Uh, OSA um, treatment should be optimized to reduce AF recurrence and improve AF treatment results. Class two indication. Uh, recommendation for stroke prevention in AF patient after. Decanal in 2020, in a atrial fibrillation patient at high risk of ischemic stroke, uh, initiation of oral anticoagulation with preference. Yeah, of I'm
प्रेगनेंसी Uh, uh, the, this is the recommendation of management and care preparation during pregnancy. Acute management, the amra pothom amader ki hobe cardio version hobe. Jodi patient more than that, the instability, instable factor. Jodi class one indication. Ah, uh, jodi patient the chipte jabe hypertrophic cardio ma apni the cardio version, hypertrophic cardio ma apni the factor. In case of pregnant women, amara cardio version should be considered in uh, persistent uh, actual preparation. कमलजीत কখন আমরা পেস মেকার দিব কখন আমরা পেস মেকার দিব ইন্ডিকেশন অফ পেস মেকার এন্ড এট্রিয়াল ফিবুলেশন ইন্ডিকেশন অফ পেস মেকার যখন আমরা কার্ডিওভেশন করার পর پیشنটা যদি ই না থাকে তখন আমরা ফার্মাকোলজিক্যাল ট্রিটমেন্ট দেব ফার্মাকোলজিক্যাল ট্রিটমেন্ট দেওয়ার পরেও যদি پیشنট মানে বেডিকার্ডে থাকে যে সিম্পটমেটিক বেডিকার্ডিয়া থাকে বা সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমরা পেস মেকারের দিকে যাব তারপরে আগা আসেন আগা যদি কিছু এড করেন ड्रग ट्रिटमेंट करा दीची देखाट कंट्रोल तक एंड थैंक मैट्रियल से 
ये भी टेक्स्ट बोलो देखे रिगार्डिंग कौनसी बार रिगार्डिंग इलेक्ट्रिक सी जेडन सेक्शन साल जितने किस तो बोलने का हाँ बोलो तो तुम्हें हेलो अच्छा सर हाँ बोलो एक बार टेक्स्ट बोलो डॉक्टर कोमल जी सर ये तो जाना नहीं सर सर जो भी एक तो तुम बोल बोल तुम सर इलेक्ट्रिक सिग्नलिंग सेक्शन अब तुम जो बोल रहे हैं ये मैटर्स जो सिर्फ पेशेंट एफ तक आते हैं जो प्रेगनेंसी कौन से कोर्टे पर बेचे हैं ऐसे कोनो कंटेनरिकेशन नहीं जो भी प्रेगनेंसी नहीं थी स्टेबल तक आते हैं जैसे प्रेगनेंसी कंटिन्यू कोर्टे पर बेचे और वही बाबे क्लियर कर लेटिव सिजरियर सेक्शन में कोनो इंडिकेशन नहीं जो भी जो भी नमूने we will continue to do it. Otherwise, we will continue to do it in normal pregnancy. We will continue to do it in normal vaginal delivery. We will continue to do it in stable. We will continue to do it in stable. Sir, I will ask you a question. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, I will ask you a question. Sir, I will ask you a question. हैं तो पर हम तो नॉर्मल हम लोग तो बोल रहे हैं हम तो नॉर्मल डेलीवरी हम लोग कोड़ा कर बो शेख ने आलोचना आलोचना कोनो क्लियर कर इलेक्ट्रिक सीजर सेक्शन में कोनो बोमिका नहीं उन्हें कैसे उन्हें क्यों बोलेंगे बोमिका नहीं तो बे जो दी ये कंडीशन बोला था के इनस्टेबल था के अनस्टेबल था के तुम्हारे प्रेजेंटेशन इस सोमास लंगर एवं हम डे शेष इतने वी कैन नॉट कंसेंट्रेट योर स्लाइड्स स्लोइंग स्लाइड्स तो तुम प्रथम जैसा इतने बोल रहा है इट इस ए सुप्रेवेंटिकुलर एरिथमिया तो इतने कि हम डे कि इबे भी बोली एक्ट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन तो इतने टोटली एक्ट्रियल सुप्रेवेंटिकुलर तालादा एक � क्लियर हमरा जे एसबीटी गुला बोली माने इटा हाँ शुरू ले पेरोक्सिस्मल सुप्रेवेंटिकुलर टेकिकार्डिया इटा एक टा स्पेशल एरिया पेरोक्सिस्मल सुप्रेवेंटिकुलर टेकिकार्डिया इटा किन एक टा स्पेशल एंटिटी किंतु हमरा जो दी कार्डिया करिड्मिया के गुला के भाग कोरी टेकिरिड्मिया गुला के ताहोले इटा हमरा � AVRT, AVNRT, एवं एट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन, एट्रियल फ्लाटर, एगुली शब्दी पूर्वे सुपर वेंट्रिकुलर टेकेरिड्मियन मुद्दे, एवं वेंट्रिकुलर टेकेरिड्मियन मुद्दे, वेंट्रिकुलर फिब्रिलेशन एवं वेंट्रिकुलर टेकेकार्डिया पूर्वे। बोला जाए। अच्छा। कल के साल हमारे सुपर वेंट्रिकुलर टेकेर Definitely, it it is a supraventricular tachyarrhythmia. Supraventricular means that it includes atria and atrioventricular junction. ये दो टाइम इले supraventricular बाला है। अब वों atrioventricular junction है नीचे ventricle शुरू है इगल। हमें हमारे एक तरफ क्वेश्चन चलो। अच्छा एट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन विद हेमोरेजिक स्ट्रोक शेखर तो जो दिस थ्रोम्बो प्रोफाइल एक्सिस दिया लगे शेखर हम रखी बाबे सिलेक्ट कर बो कौन दी बो कमलजीत बोल बन ना की सर बोले सर बोले सर मैं शिक्त वाला हूँ सर अभी कलाई भी ना इटे डेफिनेटली एक टक माने क्रिटिकल एरिया माने एक ने शिद्धत � एवं हेमाटोलॉजिस्ट बाकार्डियोलॉजिस्ट सब मिले सिद्धांतों नीते हो बेर की 
এবং এখানে অ্যাকিউট যেখানে হেমোরেজ সেখানে তো অবশ্যই দেওয়া যাবে না এখানে হেমোরেজিক স্ট্রোকের চিকিৎসা করতে হবে এবং আফটার স্টেবিলাইজেশন অব দি হেমোরেজিক স্ট্রোক এবং কনসিডারিং দি থ্রোম্বোটিক রিস্ক এটা সিদ্ধান্ত নিতে হবে ইটস আ ব্যালেন্স বিটুইন দিস টু তো ডিপেন্ডিং আপন দ্যাট টুয়েলভ উইক্স এর মধ্যে শুরু করা যেতে পারে বাট ইট মাস্ট বি অ্যাকচুয়ালি শেয়ার ডিসিশন মেকিং বিটুইন নিউরোলজিস্ট কার্ডিওলজিস্ট অ্যান্ড হেমাটোলজিস্ট ইটস এ টাফ ডিসিশন মেকিং থ্যাংক ইউ বিধান নেই যদি থাকলে <laughs> There is no rule of ecospin or oral anticoagulation. জিরো থাকে ন রুল অফ ইকোস্পিন যদি চেটবাস করে পয়েন্ট ওয়ান থাকে তাহলে আইদার ইকোস্পিড ওর ওরাল অ্যান্টিকোগুলেট ওর আর টু থাকলে ওরাল অ্যান্টিকোগুলেট এটা কিন্তু সহজ ছিল আগেরটা এখন কিন্তু একটু পরিবর্তন আসছে এই পরিবর্তনে তুমি খেয়াল করছো কি না এখন তো স্যার বলছে যে মেইলে যদি কি থাকে যে ওয়ান থাকে আর সিমিলে সরি মেইলে জিরো থাকে আর সিমিলে ওয়ান থাকে তাহলে দরকার নেই স্যার হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ আর মেইলে যদি মানে মেইলে ওয়ান থাকলে দিব ব্যাপারে তখন আমাদের প্রথমেই দেখতে হবে পেশেন্টটা মানে জিজ্ঞেস করতে হবে মানে তার মডার টু সিভিয়ার এম এস আছে কিনা কিংবা তার প্রস্তেটিক হার্ট ভাল আছে কিনা সেই ক্ষেত্রে কোন চাঁদ ভাস কোর বা কিছু করার দরকার নাই আমরা সরাসরি ওয়ারফারিনে চলে যাব নো রোল অফ নো আক্স এটা হচ্ছে প্রথম কথা এরপরে যদি এই দুইটা না থাকে তখন আমরা তার চাঁদ ভাস স্কোর করব চাঁদ ভাস স্কোর করে প্রথমেই আমাদের ডিটারমিন করতে হবে এটা কি লো রিস্ক ক্যাটাগরি কিনা লো রিস্ক ক্যাটাগরি ইজ ডিফাইন্ড বাই আপনি যেটা বলছেন যে মেল ইজ জিরো ফিমেল ইজ ওয়ান কারণ এখানে চাঁদ ভাস করে দেখা গেছে যে সেক্স স্পেসিফিক রিস্ক ফিমেল যদি থাকে তার জন্য এক পয়েন্ট এরপরে আসেন হচ্ছে চাঁদ বাস্কর যদি মেলে ওয়ান হয় ফিমেলে টু হয় তাহলে বলা হয়েছে যে এটা টু এ ইন্ডিকেশন মানে ক্লাস টু এ ইন্ডিকেশন মানে এখানে নোয়াক্স মে বি কনসিডার্ড কিন্তু যদি ইম্পর্টেন্ট <laughs> নোট <laughs> uh thank you sir for your message yes uh, time is running out very quickly we want to end